All right, guys, today we're talking fall protection and we're talking ropes versus retractables and which one should you buy for your standing seam metal roofing projects. You know, early on when we started our business several years back, uh, we had mainly ran ropes. So just a, just, an, just a roofing rope that you'd find either for asphalt shingles or for uh, just a regular tie off rope. But as we grew and we got onto big, big projects, uh, you know, it was some more high profile jobs. We noticed the other contractors, a lot of them were running retractables. So I thought, well, you know what? We'll run retractables as well. So we own a bunch of retractables. We invested in them. Some of these got 50 foot on them. Some of these got 12 foot. Some of them got 30 foot. And we ran retractables for a number of years. And I've tell you, I've come full circle back to ropes. And, and the reason why I, I wanted to make this video is because maybe I could save somebody some headaches. So these retractables, cost about, I don't know, five to 700 bucks a pop to get 50 foot. I can get 50 foot of rope for $79 out of a bucket at Home Depot. And I've already got the butterfly tie off. So all, if we need to replace the rope at 79 bucks, these retractables, in my opinion, are not the way to go. Our, all of our crews now, if we got, they'll, they'll have every rope out and they'll, the last thing they'll get out if, they're, if they need fall protection is a retractable. And here's why. When, when our guys are, are on these standing seam jobs, it just seems like when you have the ability to adjust yourself and hook off and just put a little bit of tension onto your harness, it kind of gives you a little bit, it just gives you a little bit of more pressure onto the roof with your feet. So when you, you can lean on these ropes just, just slightly and use this as a grip and you just can't do that with a retractable because these won't hit until you fall basically. So what I see our guys doing all the time is, is pulling these here to try to get them to hit and see this one doesn't even hit, it takes more pressure. So they're, they're always, they're always pulling out. There's nothing to grab onto. When we run ropes, not only are they just cheaper and more economical for the building, uh, for the for the for the contractor to buy, your your guys they just love them because they can they can pull on something as they get down and as they're working around without ever having to try to like lock these retractables in. So, in my opinion, ropes first retractables. Let's say you're a growing roofing contractor, you're going to grow your business, and you're thinking retractables are the way to go. I would take a second look. I don't think I'd spend three or four or five thousand dollars on new retractables. I think I'd buy one, try it, see what you think, but these good old fashioned ropes, man, you can't go wrong. If they get frayed, throw it in the garbage. It costs you 79 bucks to replace it. So it's quick, easy. Sometimes the old way is the better way, sometimes it's not. But in this, in this case, do I like ropes versus retractables? I'm going with ropes every time. I think we're more productive with ropes. They're cheaper, they're easier, they're quicker, it's simpler. I don't have to worry. Maybe this retractable is broke. Maybe if I can't get it to hit here, maybe I need to. There, there's all kinds of things that I can't see going on inside that box. I can examine my rope and test my rope, see if it's, see if it's frayed. I can see right on it. It's just, in, in my opinion, you're gonna be much better off and much happier and you're gonna save your money if you go with a rope versus a retractable all day long. And I think your crew is gonna more appreciate the ropes than they will these expensive retractables.